We are here. Quickly. We are live. <laughs> Getting it all together. Yes. How's everyone on this totally yes. summer day here in October? Yes, it is a little warm. It is very warm here in Ventura. <laughs> yeah. The weather is very strange, but it's beautiful summer day here. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my so God. we thought we'd just get together and uh, I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. And let you know what's happening in the real estate market here in Ventura County. We've got the latest numbers and we always like to bring them to you once we do. So we just like to talk a little bit about the market because the headlines, boy. I know. How's the market? They're all over the place, huh? They are. Oh my gosh. Uh, don't listen to the headlines. There's <laughs> usually an article associated with the headlines meant to grab your attention. I know. We have figured out the headlines are all <laughs> clickbait, don't you think? No matter what topic you're on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So where are we going to get our clickbait? I guess yeah. we've got it right here. So uh, we've got a few quotes and some numbers. And one of the things, you know, if you're waiting for home prices to crash, This is from the Deputy Chief Economist at Redfin, Taylor Marr. He says, for those bearish folks eagerly waiting for home prices to crash, you're going to have to keep waiting. Oh, no, you're kidding me. Uh, can you believe it? I thought they were crashing already. As much as demand is pulling back, <laughs> supply is as well, reducing downward pressure on prices in the short run. So, you know, it's all supply and demand. And we're still in that balance of economics. Imagine. I mean, it never changes, does it? It's like gravity. You know, gravity's there. Economics are there. It always works. You know, you think it, uh, inventory is growing, but really, when I looked at the numbers, it says inventory is the same this week as it was this week in 2020, and it is 32% uh, higher than in 21, but it's 41% less than in 19, which is our last, you know, normal, if you want to call it, year. Well, I don't know if it was normal or not, but it was 2019. But we can compare it to pre-pandemic craziness. Well, the, the thing is, if you go back 10 years, so we're in 2022, it would be 2012, that is when basically the market had exploded and gone straight up since then for the last decade. Mm -hmm. And why does this matter to you? Well, when inventory is low and there's still <laughs> demand, um, because there just aren't enough homes for sale. Homes are still selling faster than normal, whatever normal is that all these economists talk about. So if I just give you the numbers, so days on market in October of 2018, so we're going back to kind of have a graph. There's a beautiful graph, but I can't show you that here live. Um, 32 days, October of 19, 31 days. 2020, 21 days, they're going down. Um, 2021, 18 days. And then the latest stats is August of 2022, 16 days. So that's almost in half from October of 18. It is. And buyers are getting more inventory, even though it says we're 41% mm -hmm. less. There is more inventory now than there has been in the last couple of years, really. And it's still way off what it was during times that, let's say, pre-COVID. Yes. So Len <laughs> Kiefer, who's the deputy chief economist at Freddie Mac, um, he says, you know, while there might be a little statistical difference between a small positive number and a small negative one, there are often huge differences in how they impact behavior. So, you know, you could see a headline and it could have, you know, the numbers could be minuscule, but they're like, sky is falling or sky is not falling, but the real numbers are small, but it affects everyone's perception of what's really happening. Right, and everyone. Oh, we get all the comments on, hey, you know what, I'm just going to wait till the market cuts cuts in half and then I'll buy then it normally well there's that word normal again doesn't work whatever that, that way is. <laughs> <laughs> because if the market were to be cut in half that would really change everything the whole yeah. the whole playing field would look exactly different yeah but it's just not gonna happen based on the inventory and certainly here in coastal California I mean we're between Santa Barbara and Malibu and nobody wants you to build anything so our inventory very tight still and all the chief economists are still saying growth this year, growth next year, growth through 2025. Right. Even with what they're calling recession. I mean, the recession, whatever they're saying, I didn't write that one down, but I mean, it's going to be light. They, they pulled 10 of the top CEOs in the country and eight of them were like, it's going to be a little bit of a recession, but I mean, kind of a bump in, uh, in the road uh, on the big scheme of things. So yes. that's, that's what the experts, whoever they are, yes. say. Yes. Um, CoreLogic uh, Q2 of 2022, the home equity is at the highest level ever. So the average home equity, now these are national numbers, is 
dollars nationwide, and that's the highest it's ever been. It's $3.6 trillion, trillion with a T, year-over-year year total increase in equity of U.S. mortgages, U.S. homeowners with mortgages. Yeah, it's almost ironic. That's about how much the stock market has gone down. The real <laughs> estate market has gone up. Uh-huh. <laughs> if that's irony, that's it. Yep. So what does this inflection point mean for buyers? Well, if you're thinking of buying a home, you'll have less competition and more options than you would have had last year. Um, enjoying having more homes to choose from in your home search, and it's not as crazy as it was where you make an offer and there's already 14. Um, so that's been a little crazy. Uh, there's that word crazy again. I, mm -hmm. I hear that anymore. Everybody says crazy. I don't think crazy describes it anymore. It's crazy has lost its luster. Yes, that's just not true. That's more, you do have a, a little more time, but what's really important too is that the home be ready to go. So on the seller side, what does this inflection point mean for, se for sellers? If you're looking to sell your home, know that the inventory is still low uh, overall. So if your home is clean and ready to go, looks great, shows great, you know, gone are the days that you could just put something on the market and it was going to sell. No, back to a normal market where, <laughs> you know, your house needs to be clean, cleaned out, staged, ready to go, painted neutral colors, um, and all those things were really important in today's market because the buyers are coming in like all buyers do with their checklist you know oh my gosh they walk in i have to fix this 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 we want to minimize that list as much as we can to help you get top dollar in this market yeah all things are new again can you believe it it's about location <laughs> yeah <it's like laughs> traditional real estate market here yes you can change the appearance you can change the condition but you can't change the location yeah, so our numbers for Ventura County, uh, I'm going to do the year over year. Um, the, these are rolling 12 months. So that's just so you you, you math people will want to know what they are. It's rolling 12 months. So it'll be prior. last October. October, mm -hmm. 20 October of 20 to, to 21. And then October 21 to 22 oh, is what okay. we're comparing. Rolling yeah. 12 months. So new listings down 13%. And the average sold price up 11%. So that's up. The average sold price is 995758 So almost a million in Ventura County overall. Sold percentage to list percentage is still over asking it. 101.31% is the same from year to year. So it's, uh, they're up. They're not down. Oh yeah, my gosh. exactly right. So, I mean, you know, when you actually start looking at these numbers, they're not. Here is Ventura, just Ventura, not the county. And our... Average list price is up uh, 13%, and the average sold price is up 9%. Average sold price, 916000 So, you know, they're not going down. Average days on market is down to 15% to 23 days. Oh, my gosh, this is going to make headlines. Yeah, the September median, which is the, the most current month we have, 835000 is the median price in Ventura. And then we have Camarillo. Uh, Camarillo, the average days on market, 24, down 30%. The average sold price, 931000 up 14%. And these are rolling 12 months. So I don't see the prices going down based on the stats here. <laughs> and then we have Oxnard. The average sold price, 877000 up 15%. The average days on market, down 13% to 27 days. Uh, and, yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, There's that word again. That's it. So okay, I just those well, are the top three ci okay, so, cities that I did. So where do you see the market going? Well, I think you know it's going to be more of I mean whatever a regular market is. Pe people like to say six months worth of inventory is a normal market. We've never seen a normal market no, ever. Ever. Whoever thinks that is, it's always something. It but, must be. They're talking nationwide now. Yeah. So it's it's region by region, city by city. And these days, it's street by street. We do know that agents that have uh, only been real estate agents for 10 years since after the crash in the last 10 years, they've had a complete accelerating market straight up with you know the lowest interest rates in history and really haven't had to navigate a really challenging market or even a normal market. I know I put the 30-year averages over the last 40 years, I think, on our website, GaryandLisa.com, and it's astonishing how low the interest rates have been the last mm -hmm. three to four years. Right. 
it's crazy. So it really matters who you wor work with. If you're thinking about real estate, buying, selling, investing, want to buy your first investment house, want to help your kids get into a home, um, give us a call. We'd be happy to talk about your situation. Always love to walk through and, and see your home and see what we can do to help you get it spruced up for the least amount of money, but get it ready to show so it sells quickly. JerryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.